I'm using the example E 3.11 learning assessment, page 111 in the book. Uh, got everything drawn up except you know, obviously not the current dependent voltage source, which is what we're trying to figure out how to do in this obvious gap in the R1 branch here. Um, so what you do, go to help under your help topics and under LT spice circuit elements you'll see that E, F, G, H, these are your dependent voltage sources, dependent current sources, right? So we need a current dependent voltage source. That is H. So, as luck would have it, there is an H here. That is a current dependent voltage source. Same for the other sources. When you look them up in the help file. So you drop that in there. And we need a current for it to be dependent on. That's why I left this hole in the circuit. For that, it's current dependent. So you throw a voltage in here. And we're going to give it a value of a zero volt source. So it's, it's literally doing nothing, but what you'll get when you analyze the circuit is a current value going through it. So I'm going to name it 99 just to be very obvious what I'm doing here. And then what we do is we right click on this H1, all right, value right here where it says H, this is what you're dependent on. So we're dependent on V99, all right, the current going through that source, the non-source. And the value, the gain, value 2 is the gain, 2000 in this case. And we want it to be visible. Hit OK. And you can way, make it nice and pretty, moment of truth, analyze it, there you go. So the uh, book was asking you to find the current through R2, current through R2 is 1 and a third milliamp, so you look in the book, it says I0 equals 4 thirds milliamp, got it right, hope this helps.